Hey scrappers, it's Mike the Scrapping Guy here again with another quick video tutorial. Now this tutorial is going to talk about uh, adding bling to your embellishments of your layouts. And what I have here is a little um, embellishment that I created, kind of like a little charm that I could easily add to a layout. But I'm going to show you how to add a little bit, of, a little bit extra um, bling to it. And what I need to do in Photoshop Element 7, and you can even do this in regular Photoshop uh, CS uh, versions also. But what I'm going to go over and I'm going to find my line tool. And I'm going to make sure my white is the color that I'm selecting is the foreground color. Click on the line tool. And depending on the dot per inches of your layout, you're going to choose a weight maybe around 3 or 4 or 5. And you can experiment with the different weights. So I'm going to just go ahead and use 3. I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to draw a little line going right across like so. And as you can see, it actually adds the, a new layer called Shape on my, in my Layers uh, palette. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to right click that and I'm going to simplify it so now I can actually make some changes to it a little bit. I'm going to go up to my Filter tab, go to Blur, and hit Motion Blur. And what I can do here is I can adjust the uh, distance of the motion, and, uh, uh, higher the number, the more tapered off the ed edges are going to be, but I don't want it to be that tapered, I just want it to be a little bit. And like I said, you could experiment with different numbers to see what looks best for you. I'm going to make sure that the angle is also zero degrees, so it only deals with the uh, edges of this line. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And what I'm going to do with that shape is I'm going to drag it from the layers up and I'm going to duplicate it. So now we actually have two of the identical shapes. And what I'm going to do is select that shape and I'm going to turn it whoops I'm going to turn it there we go and I can actually hold the shift key down so it is perfectly straight up and on so we now have both shapes are uh, looks like a cross or a T and I'm going to go back over to my layers palette I'm going to select the one layer I'm going to hold the shift key down I'm going to select the other layer so now both layers are selected I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go down and hit Merge Layers. And now both those layers are now one, and you can see that now it is one item. And what I'm going to do is take that one item, and I'm going to once again go over to my Layers palette, grab that layer, and I'm going to duplicate it. So now I have another version of that one. And I'm going to shrink it down a little bit so it's a little bit smaller. And I'm going to bring it up and recenter it in here again. And then I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Let me go ahead and take a look at that. See how that looks? That looks actually pretty good. So now, once again, I'm going to go over to my layers. Make sure the one layer is selected. Go ahead and hold the shift key down and select the other layer. Right click, merge them. And now I have the entire thing as one layer that I can manipulate and move around. And what I can do is take this little starburst and I can just add it to say a little piece of the embellishment on top just to add a little bit of bling, a little bit of starring to it. And I can go ahead and I can take that layer and create another one. And maybe move that down and just put these in different places on my embellishment just to add a little bit of extra kind of glitter to. It, I mean, this is perfect for if you have diamonds or gold or, or something like that. And speaking of gold, you can even change the colors instead of doing a, a white line. Actually, I'll go ahead and try that. Let me take a, a different color line, maybe like a gold. There we go. And I'm going to go, I'm going to create a line. We'll do it real fast. Go over, right click, I'm going to simplify it. Oh, actually, you know what? I made it white again. Let me go undo all of that. And we go to my gold color. There we go. There we go, and I'm going to go over and I'm going to simplify it. Go back up to my filter, blur, motion blur. There we go. I'm going to duplicate that layer, and I'm going to rotate it. Hit OK there. Take these two shapes, merge them together, and I now have the one. I'll take this one layer, duplicate that, 
and I'm going to shrink it down, recenter it. If you hold the shift key down, it actually kind of turns it uh, and stops it at different little increments. That's perfect right there. And now I'm going to take that layer and the second one, merge those together. And now I have some gold bling. So if you have like a gold charm or some kind of gold element or gold lettering, you can just add a little bit of starburst to that. And you can also add this just in your layouts if you have some kind of dark layout. And uh, I don't know, maybe you have a, a layout of your daughter or son in some sort of a dance show and you kind of want to add a little bit of starburst and, and some bling to that layout, you can easily do that. So there you go. It's that, it's that simple. Just about four different steps, five different steps. And you can add a little bit extra to your, uh, to your digital scrapbooking designs and layouts by, as what I call it, uh, and everybody else does too, called it bling.